I am Representative Ryan Williams and the sponsor of the House Joint Resolution 151, which names April as Child Abuse Prevention Month. So uh, today I'd like to thank uh, Mrs. Snodgrass and all of you for your hard work. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce to you today uh, the First Lady and her husband. Uh, Bill Haslam is in the third year as Chief Executive Officer for the state. He has done exactly what he said he would do while running for office. He is focused on making Tennessee number one location in South East for high quality jobs and continue the state's momentum in education reform. He has worked with the General Assembly to cut the sales tax on food, the hall income tax, and to eliminate the death tax across our state. Barron's Magazine recently named Tennessee the third best managed state in the country. And Tennessee is ranked in the lowest in the nation in state and local tax burden and debt per capita. And of course, none of this would be possible without the support of his spouse, our First Lady, Chrissy Haslam. Uh, Bill and I both are very aware that families are faced with many challenges today. And we want all our children to be safe and healthy and to have a great education. You know, child abuse is devastating, not only to children and families, but to communities. You all know this more than, than anyone. I hope the Penal Garden and other Penal Gardens all across the state will remind Tennesseans to take action by learning more about prevention and building strong communities. Communities that will foster love and support for children in their homes, in their schools, and in their neighborhoods. All of you gathered here today work very hard to prevent child abuse. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you do. Preventing child abuse ensures an opportunity for every child to thrive, be from neglect or abuse. And I think the pinwheels are, um, is a reflection of that bright future that all children deserve. And while the blue pinwheels will be lighting the Capitol blue at night, um, the lighting of the Capitol serve as a reminder of the children who suffered because of abuse and neglect. I think that they also represent the um, children whose lives are made better by the mission that has gathered us all here today. So I'm really glad you've chosen this happy, carefree symbol. Um, I think it represents the kind of childhood that we want for all Tennesseans. Thank you so much for what you do and um, for being here today and for inviting me. And now I'm going to read a proclamation that um, the governor was going to read and that he signed. Um, and um, it's kind of long, but I'm going to read the whole thing because I think it's important. Whereas child abuse and neglect is a serious problem and finding solutions depends on involvement among people in the community, and whereas approximately 3 million children are reported abused and neglected in the United States each year, and whereas the effects of child abuse and neglect are felt by whole communities and need to be addressed by the entire community, and whereas Prevent Child Abuse Tennessee, the Tennessee Child Abuse Prevention Network, and the Tennessee Children's Trust Fund are sponsoring several events throughout the month to heighten public awareness of abuse and neglect in communities around the state. And whereas these events will provide information and materials that support families to prevent child maltreatment and celebrate people who work with and support children and families. And whereas a statewide Pinwheels for Prevention campaign will be launched through the media, public schools, libraries, social service agencies, and businesses during the month of April to celebrate and bring awareness of the great potential of all children in Tennessee and the need to strengthen all families with support and nurturing. And whereas the Pinwheels for Prevention campaign includes the planting of Pinwheel Gardens statewide celebrating community partnerships for strengthening the family and protecting all children from abuse and neglect. And whereas effective child abuse prevention programs succeed because of the partnerships created among social service agencies, schools, religious and civic organizations, law enforcement agencies, and the business community. And whereas all citizens should become more aware of the negative effects of child abuse and its prevention within the community and become involved in supporting parents to raise their children in a safe, nurturing environment. Now, therefore, I, Bill Haslam, Governor of the State of Tennessee, to hereby proclaim the month of April 2013 as Child Abuse Prevention Month in Tennessee. I encourage all citizens to join me in this morning's event.